Hello and welcome to SourceFed. My name is Elliot Moore. Salutations. So in Ringgold, Georgia, I know I'm already excited too. There's this celebration called the 1890s Day Jamboree. And during this jamboree, a man by the name of Daryl Banther was approaching strangers' children in a parking lot with pamphlets on Christianity. Some other parent didn't like that and decided to file a police report. Banther, who was there with his eight-year-old son, says he was harassed by police and is threatened to sue the city of Ringgold. Who specifically harassed him? The Ringgold city manager and chief of police. Banther did leave, but not without vowing that wherever you go, wherever you are, he vows there will always be religious tracts buried in verses signed Jesus Christ. They will be flung on the windshield of your children's children, children. Do you hear me? Oh, oh hook, nice. I've been waiting one year to use that quote. So excited. Speaking of quotes, here's what the Banther Panther himself had to say. They were all harassing me because I had a constitutional right to do what I was doing. If I'm anything else, I have rights. But as a Christian, we have rights no more. They're taking all the Christian rights away, and I'm going to stand for what's right this time. Gays everywhere responded, bitch, please. City officials said in a statement that there are established procedures for participation in the jamboree, including including having prior approval in a booth to operate the activity they're conducting. First Amendment says something about being able to speak for yourself. As someone who has a daughter, I took some time and put myself in the scenario under which this whole thing occurred. And while it's impossible to know exactly how I would have responded, I do know that I would have been unnerved, maybe a little annoyed, but I wouldn't have reported the man to the police. That seems like overkill. Personally, I can also relate to the situation as well because I have a dog and if someone came up and tried to tell my dog about Jesus, I'd think he was crazy and immediately report him. My dog is a devout Hindu. This is one of those weird social situations because I'm not a fan of anyone approaching someone in the parking lot, but beyond that, first of all, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. On the other hand, you know when people are most likely to have their worldview fractured and rebuilt? Not during errands. Not during errands. And I'm not a big fan of the, like, we have no rights argument that I hear among a lot of religious folk. You have rights, we all have rights. You live in America. You live in a country where people go hungry while all you can eat buffets line our highways, which we use to shuttle ourselves from our comfortable air conditioned home to our comfortable air conditioned jobs. All that said, this guy was being told that he would be followed around everywhere he went by the city manager slash police chief, which is ridiculous. The man did not have any ill intent. My gripe here is with the, the persecutory mindset, not the action itself. Let the man be, but to the man, chill, man. Words, words, words. My dog is a Hindu. Tell us what you think of the whole thing down below. After you're done with that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Also, subscribe to SourceFed Nerd. I'm Joe Beretta. My name is Elliot Morgan. SourceFed Nerd is at youtube.com slash SourceFed Nerd. Yeah. Oh, cool. I'll check it out. Dude, okay. pretty cool. Great. Let's go talk to those guys. They're here. Yeah, well, all right. Oh, is that one of them? Nope. nope. No, it's Norg. Norg. Ugh.